Oh my gosh. Wow. This is amazing. I 3D printed my head. If you want to film this yourself, here's what you'll need. Number one, a head. Preferably a good looking one, like mine. Number two, a 3D printer. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer, and you don't know someone who has a 3D printer, well, you're screwed. But don't worry, you can still watch the video anyway. Number three, a computer. Any computer. Well, almost any computer, but even a crappy laptop will do. And a program called Blender. And don't worry, Blender's free. Number four, a phone. And the Polycam app. Now the Polycam app is not free, but you can do a week-long free trial. And if you've already done your week-long free trial, you can create a new account and do another week-long free trial. Number five, and the last thing you'll need, a friend. Or at least a willing participant. Or a non-willing participant and some money. First step, you're gonna need to scan your face. So from the Polycam app, tap this little purple button down. Now we're gonna choose photo. Okay, now start taking photos of your subject. You are gonna be creating a 3D model just from pictures alone. So try and make sure the pictures really show the depth of the face. You can take up to a thousand pictures, but you really don't need that many. I just usually take like a hundred or so. Now once you finish scanning, it's probably gonna be about five or so minutes before your model's ready. And here it is, here's the model. It's a little bit janky, but don't worry, it'll come out just fine. Now I'm just gonna tap this little download button here on top. I'm just gonna go JLTF because it's free. Now export this file and get it to your computer using whatever method you use. We all have our ways of getting stuff from our phone to our computer. Next, let's go to our computer and create a 3D model. So here we are in Blender. I'm just gonna go ahead and import that file of my head. Now it's a little hidden here. I'm gonna have to delete this cube so I can see it. But there it is. There's my head. Well, a little bit more than just my head, actually. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is isolate my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my guy here then go to edit mode. And now I'm gonna hold down the Z key and go to the wireframe view. Now I can literally just select my body and delete it, delete vertices. And as you can see, I'm starting to isolate my head here. Now what I actually wanna do here is get rid of all of this shirt. So it's just in the off of my neck. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go back to wireframe mode. I'm gonna choose the select circle and make sure I'm on add to existing selection. And then I can literally just paint out my shirt like this, just like that both sides. Now, as you can see, this kind of puts my head at an awkward angle, so I'm gonna rotate that. So I'm gonna click on my head and choose the rotate tool. Now, it looks like my origin point is a lot lower than it should be, so rotating is gonna be a little awkward. So let me fix that. If I go up to object, set origin, I can do origin to geometry, and that'll fix it right up. So now I'll just grab this red circle here and rotate my head until my neck's just about even. Now I'll move him back to the center. I'll just click on his head and use the G and Y key to move him in a straight line back to the middle. Okay, now we're looking pretty good, but we clearly still need to add a base, especially because of how jagged the edges are down here. But really just a nice circular base will tie everything together. So on the left here, I'm gonna choose add cylinder and I'm just going to build a little cylinder for myself. Again, I can use the G key to move this and X, Y, or Z to move it in any one direction. All right, now it's a little too big, so I'm actually gonna go to my object tab here and I can just scale this down on all fronts. So I think we are finally ready to export this. I'm gonna go to File, Export, and I'm gonna do STL, which is the 3D print file. So let's get that STL file ready to print in Bamboo. Let me just open up my head. Now, as you can see, it says the object is too small. Don't worry, just click no. All right, looking pretty good. A couple more things I'm going to have to do. First, I want to scale this to be life size. So I'm gonna to have to do some math here. So I'm just gonna guesstimate 200, that should be close enough. 
As you can see, this is way too big for this printer bed. So I'm gonna have to split this up into pieces. First, let me add a plate, and then I'm gonna choose slice. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I click add connectors. So I'm just gonna add three little plugs just to make sure everything stays secure. I'm gonna click confirm connectors, and finally, perform cut. Now I'm just gonna move the top half to the other plate, and things are looking tight, actually. I don't know exactly how we're gonna be able to make this work. So maybe if I rotate it, now, I am a little bit worried about having holes at the very bottom of the print. So maybe on this one, I will enable support, do tree, and critical region only. Now I'm just gonna half all of the first layer speeds. And I think we're ready to slice it. Let's see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous. I did a pretty good job. A couple supports on this side, nothing on this one. Nine hours. The other one's 10 hours. So this is going to take quite a bit of time, but we'll try it. So that's the 3D printed head project. Honestly, it turned out pretty well. It used about a roll and a half of filament in order to make. But to be fair, it was very dense. I didn't think about looking through the settings in bamboo, so this thing is literally just full of filament. And I actually used white filament to make it, but I ended up spray painting it black afterwards just because I thought that would look better. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and go ahead, make this yourself. Let me know how it goes. That's all from me. Have a nice day.